You're never leaving him, are you? One of these days, he is going to kill you. Of course you know that already. He's a good man. He's just a bit temperamental. A bit? Alison, a bit? Did you also break all the mirrors in the house? Because all these bruises all over you are screaming abused. Well, I love him. Enough to die for him? Huh? Alison, what are you so scared of? Why can't you walk away from this mess you call marriage? Hey, marriage is only a few months old. I have to try. Natasha, I have to try. He, he wasn't always like this. He used to be very, very caring. Very loving. We used to be best friends. No. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Keep him waiting for too long. You know what they say. A hungry man is an angry man. Go. Thank you, Natasha. I'll call you. The curtains also need fixing. And you've been here for a while, Daniel. Don't you think it's time for you to go? Because I have a lot to do. I've got laundry to do. The curtains are dirty. The sheets are also dirty. It's... You know you can actually hire someone to... to do all that for you, right? <laughs> Daniel Ofodilin, you have been seated here for the past how many hours? How many people have you seen walking through that door to lodge here? Please, I cannot afford a laundry man for now. You don't listen. You just don't listen. I mean, look at this place. You know, it looks more like a funeral home to me than a B&B place. And you know that I am willing to allow you to fix up this place, but no, you would have it. And you know that I am not willing to accept any help. I'm willing to do this on my own. Olivia, we all need help sometimes. Everybody needs help. Right. You're hard-headed. I know. But you're my sister. Hmm? I know how hard-headed you can be. But when you finally decide to get help, please come to me. You know I will. I trust you will. <laughs> I have somewhere to show you, though. No, no, Daniel, I have a lot of things to do. I, I need to do laundry. Really? And... You need to clean the sheets if you have any. <laughs> but I have this interesting place to show you. Come on, let's go. Daniel, wait, where are you taking me to? It's a short drive, five minutes. It's a Daniel, place that will interest you. Daniel. Come on, come on, chop, 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 chop. Let's go.
day. You, you um you called some hours ago to say that you were hungry, so so I rushed them to cook something for me. I had something to eat at my sister's. You had something to eat at your sister's. I was in the middle of a very interesting conversation with Natasha. When you called to say that you were hungry, and I rushed them so that my husband would not starve. And I am really, really sorry to have pulled you out of the very nice time. <laughs> I'm trying! I'm tired! Alison, I'm tired and worn out, and you are not going to get an argument out of me. Not tonight. Stop it. Please, please, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll just put the food in the microwave and you'll be ready in no time. Okay? You're dangerous. Evil. Selfish. Manipulating. Need I say more? I've said enough. Good morning. You're still here. Usually at the gym at this time of the morning. Uh, I skipped today. I thought we could have breakfast together. Uh, except you want to eat at the sisters. And I also made lunch so that <laughs> you'll save me the stress of driving out to eat. So.
so I was thinking I'm ready for a baby yes I'm, I'm ready for a child I think my body is ready um, I thought maybe two or three depending on how many you want really hey. I'm not ready for a child Wait, what? I'm not going to have a child with you. Like this. No, I won't do it. You're not ready to have a child with me. Like this. Yes, you can't have a baby with me when I'm like this. Oh, you seem to forget that it is you that made me like this. Nobody else but you. You made me like this. You! No, honey, I, I, I aren't you eating anymore? Okay, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I won't say a word. I, I'll, I'll just... You won't even know I'm here. I won't say anything. I'm... Um, sweetie, um, you forgot your lunch. Show yourself with it. <laughs> Thank you. I was saving it for a rich customer who obviously is not forthcoming. Oh. Why are you looking at me like that? Because you are going through stuff, my darling sister, and you know that I can help you, but no, you have chosen to remain headstrong and not allow me to help you. That's why. Likewise me, yours. But you wouldn't let me, would you? <laughs> Daniel, between the two of us, who do you think is more miserable? Oh, well, if I would um, have to um, add this place to the list, that would be you. <laughs> <laughs> but I would say that you are the miserable one by choice. Really? How so? Because you're clearly with the woman who makes you unhappy and for some reason you just wouldn't let her be. What are you doing? Where are you going? I'm going back to the office I have. I have work. Daniel of Fordili, is she blackmailing you? Of something I know nothing about. Olivia, I have warned you several to stop talking about her life like that. But how can I when you can't even stand her long enough to eat a meal that she's prepared? I'm sorry, that came out wrong. Uh, it didn't come out wrong. I know exactly what this is about. What are you talking about? You are my twin brother, and I don't have any problems preparing and serving your meal. As for Olivia, I don't know. Cooking and serving me. Okay, that's fine. Go back to your office and bury your head in work. That is all you do anyway. Oh yes, while you immerse yourself in this miserable and dying business and kill yourself while you're at it. Fine, you two immerse yourself in your miserable, sad home life. Huh. Alison. Ali, wake up. Food is here. Wakey, mm -hmm. wakey. Ali, wake up, wake up. 
Come and get some food in your stomach. Wake up, darling. Sorry, eh? <clears throat> So I already had something to eat before you got here. I thought I told you that. Yes, yes, you mentioned. Sorry. I have some painkillers. Should I get them for you? No. I can't take anything that is not prescribed by my doctor. Okay. I'm pregnant. Out of your mind, Alison. I probably am. Um... Have you told him? No. He doesn't want a baby yet. At least not from me. I really want to keep this baby, Natasha. Then let's keep it. Together, we will raise the baby. He or she would have the best amazing mother and the most awesome life <laughs> ever okay thank you it's okay thank you very much it's all right okay uh eat your food eat just eat <sighs> now we have to figure out how to break the news to daniel no 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 natasha no 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 okay 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 no please I don't want him to know yet. I, I, I want to keep it a secret for now. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. Anything for you, baby. Anything. It's okay. Okay. Anything to make you happy, honey. Anything. Okay. Okay. Just eat your food. Matthew? 
Look, Matthew. I have been doing business with your bank for a little over a decade now, and that is owing to my personal relationship with you, and you know me. I'm not going to do anything that would jeopardize the future of my company. That's why I'm calling you for this help. Please, do it for me. Okay. Come over to my office by 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Um, I'll have everything ready by then. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you. You are far too kind. Thank you. I, You know, I knew I could count on you. Huh? Thank you. I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning as agreed. Well, but let me, let me just allow you to go to bed. Okay, it's really late. Have a wonderful night rest, Mr. Fodili. You too, my friend. Sleep well. I am tired. Daniel, I am tired. This is not what I bargained for when I married you. I don't even know why I married you. This marriage sucks. Is this what I get? Daniel, is this what I get? I said I am tired. I am your wife, and I demand to be treated as such. I'm tired of you ignoring me all the time. If you don't want me in your life anymore, why don't you just say so? It's not treating me with all this disrespect. Hey, eh, Daniel? Am I not talking to you? Answer me. Daniel! Will you answer me and stop behaving like a woman? Where are you going? Where are you going to? I'm not talking to you. I can't continue living like this for how long would I live like this? I can't do this. I can't do this. This marriage is eating me up. I can't, I can't live my life like this. Ah. 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 I can't do this. I'm losing my mind. I can't live like this. I'm losing my mind. I can't do this. Olivia, Olivia, Olivia. I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind. I used to be in total control of myself. I used to be in total control of my family. I don't know what's going on. Alice is driving me nuts. This is not me. I know this is not me. I know this is not how I am. I need help, Olivia. Yes, yes. I need help. I need help. Alison is in the hospital. I think I am responsible for it. Daniel Ofodile, did you hit your wife? No, I, I did not. You know me better than that. You know I would never do a thing like that. So what happened? You remember how I told you that both of us are not ready for kids, right? So we, we're arguing over it. And what? And then she just kept following me around and pulling on my PJs and, and ranting all over the house, screaming in my ears. It was just, she was just too much in my space. And, and then I just... And then what? Nothing. Don't, don't talk like that and make me look like I'm guilty. I just got her hands off my PJs and, and, and you, you, you know how slippery the floor can be. And then she's like, she's fair. Where is she? She's in the hospital. Why are you not with her? You could have just called me. She doesn't want to see me there, okay? She had a concussion and for some reason, Alison believes I pushed her. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. My wife hates me. Daniel. She hates me. Alice hates me. Alice hates me. No, she doesn't. Oh, yes, she does. I think she's just mad at you. It's
okay? Hi. Um, how is she? And by the way, you took quite some time. What's going on? Why did you take all that time? What held you back? I went to visit my sister-in-law at the hospital. He don't expect me to just drop the fruits and turn right back. Um, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, just... She said you, um, you hit her a couple of times before you pushed her. And she sounded really convincing. And you believed her, didn't you? Of course not. He knew I trust you. Hmm. You trust me, but... She had these bruises on her cheeks. Daniel, don't you think you should just divorce this girl? She will destroy you. That girl is messed up. What? Did she fry your sense of reasoning and, and have it for... for Olivia, Daniel? I have warned you several. I don't like the way you talk about my wife. Stop it. Daniel Ofodile, please watch your tone with me. I'm sorry, Liv. I'm really, really sorry. I'm, I'm sorry I raised my voice on you. I don't know what has gotten into me. Exactly my point, Daniel. I don't know how much of, of you and this thing that has taken over you I can stand. You know, she says she needs to spend a couple of days with her friend. If you ask me, I, I think you should let her. She needs some alone time to at least reflect on her marriage with you. Excuse me. You know, most times I fail to understand you, honestly. You should understand me by now. Understand why you would go back to that carnivore? Who beats a pregnant woman? Who? Remember, I never told him I was pregnant. I know you lost this pregnancy, but there's more to come. I am sure of that. So don't worry yourself, okay? Please. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll walk you to the car. Hmm? Promise me you'll call me the second you realize going back there was a mistake. Because I know it is, certainly. Not. That is my home. I can't run away from it. But thanks for looking out for me. Mm. But shall I call me when you get home? You know I will. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look, it won't be a bad idea if you and I make our time to see. You know what I'm talking about. You know, just...
Daniel. D. In the kitchen. What happened? What's going on? What did you do to her? I'm, I'm sorry. What happened? I don't know. Honestly, when I came back from work, there was no sign of Alison and I called out her name. She, she was told where to be fine. So naturally, I just assumed that, okay, fine, she must have gone to Natasha's place. So I, I took off my clothes, you know. I, I, I decided to settle in and, and then I got hungry, you know. So I decided to come in here and see if I can make something for myself. And I just walked in here and I saw this. There was a struggle. What? I can't say for sure if she's dead, but what I do know is that she was dragged out of here alive. No, Mr. Man, how do you know how, how do you know that? Okay, fine, fine. What you you what are you trying to tell me that she was abducted? No, but if she was abducted, who would do that? I want to know. Have you called the police? I haven't. I was, I was waiting for you to come. Call your lawyer. What? Well, I need a lawyer. Your wife mysteriously goes missing and leaves the bloodstained floor. Trust me, you will be needing more than a lawyer. But I have nothing to do with this. What are you talking about? Huh? By the way, sometimes I, I, I listen can be bloodstains like this. What? Never mind. That, that's by the way. So what do you want me to do right now? What do we do? Go call your lawyer. I'll clean this up. You know, you know what I, I, I thought? If the police as much as sees this blood stain on the floor, no matter how little it appears, that would be the end of you. So stop thinking and do exactly as I say. Go call your lawyer. Now! Daniel! What? I don't need you to go soft on me. Now this is the kind of investigation that destroys people. If the police as much as smells an atom of fear in you, you are doomed. Okay? Now go call your lawyer and I'll clean this up. Dan! What's keeping you? One second, please. Almost done. Yeah. Your wife is missing and, and, and you care about how fancy your wrist looks? Oh, come on now. You know me and I don't go nowhere without my wrist touch. Sorry. Did you get any sleep at all? Well, I... I tried. Did you burn the stuff I asked you to burn? Detective will go. Can I come? Mr. Fodilang, yes? Yes. I want to ask you a few questions about your wife. How did you know my sister in law is missing? Um, Detective, that's my sister, Olivia. Well, We're twins. Oh, really? In that case, shall we all sit? Like I said before. Ask you a few questions, the both of you. I'm sorry, Detective. Um... Go, go. Thanks. How did you know that Alison is missing? A certain lady by name, Natasha Simons, called me last night. But she didn't particularly say anything about the missing person. She just calls me a couple of times. Um, please sit. When did you find out that your wife is missing? Oh, after, after I returned from work yesterday. Around what time? About 6, 18 p.m. 6, 18 p.m. Hmm. You keep record of time. Impressive. So when did you come to the conclusion that your wife perhaps was missing? Well, uh, my wife has just one friend, her best friend as a matter of fact. Uh, that's where she spends most of her time. So since uh, I didn't find her there. You called her? 
and she told you your wife was in there with her? No. Or you just happened to know that your wife was in there with her? I called her when my brother told me that his wife is missing. I just had to call her. That's the only other person to call. And this happened at what time? Mm, say nine-ish, ten-ish. I'm not an excellent timekeeper like my brother. Mr. Fordilo, when you came back yesterday, did you find anything to suggest that your wife was kidnapped? No, I... Not at all. Nothing? Nothing, detective. Okay. Let's go a bit personal here. Your marriage. Have you guys been having any kind of problem lately? Oh, a detective. Um... Just like every other marriage, we have our highs and lows, you know. Um, we have the normal challenges that married people um, go through. That's, that's about it. And you don't think this is enough to drive her out of your house? I wouldn't think so. So I would say no. Let me have a plate number. What? Her car registration number. Or don't you have it? It could help us to locate her. Oh, oh, okay. I see. Um, that would be um, GW. GW. GW21. 21. EKY. EKY. GW21. 21. EKY, that's it. All right, that will be all for now. We are going to look for her. After 24 hours, we don't see her. We will declare her missing. Detective, what are you talking about? My wife is missing. It is apparent that she's missing. Hypothetically, there is no evidence to support this claim. So we follow the two police process. All right. Do you mind if I get your card just, just in case? Why not? Thank you. All right. How do I address you? It's not Mrs. Oh, Mr. Fordley, do have a nice day. You too, Detective. Go. Thank you very much, Detective. Well, you know, you made me lie to that man. Because definitely you and I know that something happened to Alison in this house. And if, do you know that if you had told him anything about a blood thing, you will be behind bars right now. So, you're very welcome. Uh. What I fail to understand, Dan, is if Alison was truly kidnapped, then why did they take her car? I mean, wouldn't that be a dead giveaway? Or unless she was kidnapped by some bunch of amateurs? Mm. Oh, no. But how come Natasha called the police yesterday? Same yesterday. Do you get my point now? Huh? Who? We've got to find out. If we, we've got to find out, we've got to call her and find out. Huh? But you have a number so we can call her? You don't have a number. Oh, no, I don't have it. I call way upstairs now. Let's let's check um, Alison's. We should be in in her dad. Thanks for for coming. Don't thank me, okay? I'm not here for you. Oh, not you here. Yes, I'm here because you called me here. Um, I apologize for my looks. My cook called and said. Hmm. We spoke to Detective Ugo. Oh, okay. Oh. How do you mean, oh? You called the detective. Uh, uh, uh. Do not talk to me, you nefarious creature. What did you just call me? 
Olivia, you called me here. What is it? Yeah? Daniel. Natasha, um, can you tell us why you called Detective Ugo? Alison told me to. What? She called me yesterday evening and told me to call the police if I wanted her to leave. So I did. Besides, she sounded very much frightened. Did she give you any particular reason why? I already have my reasons. And what is that supposed to mean? The line went off before I could say anything. And I have not been able to reach her till now. And you did not think that it was a great idea for you to go to the house and see if you would find her there? Uh, like I love showing up at your place? I knew Ugo through a friend of mine and I merely called him to report a distress call. By the way, where is Alison? Where is my friend? Um, <laughs> thank you so much for coming, Natasha. I am, um, I will. Okay. You know, after all this month, I still cannot understand why she despises me so much. Hello? Please, can I speak with Mr. Fordile? He's not available right now, but I can ask him to call you back. Miss Fordile? Detective Ugo, how did you... Never mind, what can we do for you? A lot. Are you aware that Alison lost her baby? Come again? She lost her baby following fight with her husband, your brother. Oh my God. Please tell him I need him on the station to answer a few questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, detective. Thanks. Do you see what I found? I was just on the phone to Detective Ugo who told me that your wife lost the baby. What? I tell you everything. I am open to you. I tell you everything about my life. And you could not tell me that your wife lost the baby. I'm, I'm practically an open book to you. And you could not tell me that your wife lost the baby? Olivia? You, you keeping things from me now? Oh, I know why you didn't tell me because you are the reason she lost the baby in the first Olivia, place. Olivia, you hate you know his wife in the first place. Stop it. No, I will not. Just stop. You didn't know about the pregnancy. this bottle of wine from your bar and you know how much I hate to drink alone. <laughs> so where have you been all day? I um I went for a drive and I also stopped by at the station. You know you know Olivia never told me about the pregnancy, right? You know? She never did. I really wanted a child. I, I wanted a child. 
I wanted to be a father. So. Being a father right now is what matters to me the most, more than anything. And you will be a wonderful father. I know this. <laughs> Did she say how she lost the... Um... Probably, probably while she was at the hospital. I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's part of the reason she never wanted me there because she was of the opinion that I pushed her. You know, but that also gave her the room to to hide the fact that she was pregnant from me. Olivia, you know that if I knew you were going to be parents... I know, I know. So how did Detective go find out about the pregnancy? Natasha? Search me. Say something to me that I, I, I need to, to be assured that my wife is alive and in good health. Really? Like you even cared about her welfare? Okay. It's time for you to leave. And I mean it. Leave or I'll scream. It is, I say right now, Olivia, would anger you even more. What do you expect? <sighs> Listen, you need to find whoever it is you did that business with. Because as it stands, he or she is your only alibi. Well, I... I will then need to to find a way to communicate with him 
probably send him an email or something because currently the guy in question is not even in the country. If you like, I'm going back to my business. Simons? I thought we've both grown past the formalities. Mm. Anyway, so how did it go? Well, um, I invited him over to the police station for questioning. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Was that it? <laughs> you people did not detain him. Detain him? What would be our reason to detain a man who is probably innocent? He knows what happened to my friend. Okay, okay, why, why would he take all her money just a few days before she went missing? But he said he had the wife's approval. Unfortunately, she is not here to say otherwise. Look, uh, Miss Simons, don't bother yourself. We will find your friend for you, okay? Thank you. Please call me once you find out anything. I sure will. I sure will. Do have a nice day. Hello? Is anybody home? Hello?
Ah. I'm finished. What is it again? Oh, talk to me now, Dan. What happened? You know, for the second time in my life, I have made a very, very silly business move. I. And you know what hurts me most about this? It's the fact that I saw it coming. You know, I saw it coming yet, I just jumped right into it. The supposed business partner is a fraudster. Oh, God, you know, since I've been communicating with this man, Olivia, he, he responds to my mail within the hour. Mm -hmm. So since I didn't hear from him, I, I, I decided to call him up. His numbers weren't going through. So I decided to go to the office where we usually have our, our meetings. And then he wasn't there. So I asked people around and they told me that people just, you know, go there once in a while. And it's not an actual company where people do business. And then I started pan panicking. So I went on the internet only for me to realize that the site had been shut down. There was nothing on them. Okay. Do you have any other information on them? Anything at all? No, I don't. I do not. Huh. Uh, how about his name? Do, do you think he gave you his real name? You were talking like this. Do these people give you their real names or their real information? No, they don't. And you know what tears me apart is that I saw this coming. How could I have been so witless as to allow this happen to me? I saw this coming. Where do I begin? What do I do? Okay, did you call the lawyer? What? Daniel of Fordilly. You didn't call a lawyer when all of this started like I asked you to? I did not, alright? I did not. I didn't know things were going to get to this point. I thought Alison was going to show up eventually. And she did, didn't she? Listen, Olivia. Stop blaming me. I don't need this right now, okay? The lawyer in question has his hands full as the company, as we speak right now, is pursuing a major deal with the government. I don't want to distract him. <laughs> And you will not be closing that deal in prison. We need to talk to Detective Ugo right now. Every information that man gave to me about himself was fake. Everything he said about himself. Name, phone numbers, name of company, everything you can think of about himself was fake. I hate to say this. I hate to say this, but I give it to him. He knows what he's doing. Can you give a detailed description of him? Oh, of course. I mean, I, I spent some time with him, you know, series of meetings. So, of course, I can help you with a proper description of him. But most importantly, I, I have an address of a particular hotel he stays in every time he visits the country. Good. Good. We'll have to start our investigation from now. Okay. But let's just hope that uh, we... Yeah, let's hope we get somebody who will... Uh... Let's just hope we find someone something that could be of help. Excuse me. It's okay. I'm proud of you. <sighs> I'm just tired. Olivia, I'm just tired. You know, I just want my wife back so that we can we can start all over again, you know? I know. And you will. I just need you to believe. Okay? Good. What do you mean I can't see him? You need to calm down. Don't okay. tell me to calm down, Detective Ugo. I demand to see my brother right now. You will see your brother, but I need to ask you some questions, ma'am. Did he just ma'am me, Detective Ugo? My apologies. I'm sorry. I don't need your apologies. My only concern right now is my twin brother and I demand to see him right away. 
Like I said before, you will see your brother, but I need to ask you some questions, please. Let's sit down. Thank you. We have reasons to believe that your sister-in-law is dead. That's a ridiculous thing to even suggest. How did you get those? Have you seen this before? Yes, yes. I have seen them before. It's mine. I made that mess. Do you mean to tell me that this is your blood? Yes, it is my blood. So a DNA test can attest that this is your blood, Mr. Fodile? No, of course a DNA test will attest that it is indeed my blood, Detective Ugo. Unless you want to go ahead and, um, and, 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 and conduct a DNA test. I, I don't know how to do this. This is a cleanup from my my monthly discharge. I'm sorry you feel so disgusted. Please, uh, can you put it inside your handbag? I'll show you the down uh, that roundabout that will make a, a big turn I'll direct you What are you still doing on? Praying for the safe return of my sister-in-law. Where are you coming from? I told you I had to take care of some business. Does that business involve a lady? Say, dark skin? Were you trailing me? Huh? That should be the least of your worries. I ask you to tell me everything. And you, and you feel it's okay to leave the most vital information? What do you expect? You expect that I tell you, 
that I have been cheating on my wife. Is that what do you expect me to tell you? I wasn't expecting you to cheat on your wife at all. Things, things haven't been exactly rosy with me and Alison. We stopped having sex one month after the wedding. And then as for Chidera, I met her two months ago. I was driving back one night very late, but I was really, really drunk. I almost ran that girl over. You know, that's how we met and we got talking and then one thing led to the other. And... Who are you? What have you done with my brother? A little while ago, we used to tell each other everything. But now it's... Olivia, please, believe me. All right, I have nothing to do with the disappearance of Alison. I have told you the truth. You gotta believe me. We're going out there today to see Chidera was to just call things off with her. How did she take it? Listen, Dan. From now on, I will represent you as your attorney. But you have to tell me everything. If I have to dig out my certificate for you, you have no right to lie to me. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you very much. Are there any more surprises I should look out for? No. Oh, you, Bucci, I swear to Look, God, if... Olivia. I have told you everything. You gotta believe me. Trust me. I've told you everything, please. I trust you. Please, can you bring it to me? It's in my bag. It should be somewhere there. I, I can't believe that she would keep something like this from me. We we were best friends. Imagine she even wrote down the girl's name.
Where did you get this? I, I already told you the same way I got the others. Miss Simons, searching through someone's house without their permission is criminal and punishable under the law. Besides, I don't even know how this diary can help our case. What? Yes. He was cheating on her. Which means he never loved her and never wanted her around. Oh, please. Men do cheat on their spouse. Do you? Cheat on your spouse, I mean. Oh, uh, Mr. Fondida. Yes. I want to ask you some very personal questions about your wife. Oh, go ahead. How was your bedroom relationship with your wife? <laughs> Detective, I... I don't quite follow. I don't understand your question. Would you say that the both of you were truly in love before her sudden disappearance? Oh yes, I love my wife, Detective. If that's what you're asking, I love my wife. I love my wife more than anything in this world. And I miss her. Is she the only woman in your life? Are you asking if I'm cheating on my wife? Is this an interrogation session or what? What has that got to do with the case? This is actually not Then a he will answer no more of your questions. Hey, do you realize you're talking to an officer of the law? I am asking my client not to disclose any more details of his marriage to you. You will have to get permission from the law court if you want to harass him with your irrelevant question. I'm detective. I henceforth, my sister will be representing me as my legal attorney on this case. Is she? Yes, she is. I wonder, I wonder she's very imperious in nature. Um, detective, anything on the man that I did business with, the, the fraudster? You have something on him yet? Yes, uh, we're still working on that too. Once anything comes up, I'll let you know. It will be much appreciated, detective. If you don't mind, I want to excuse myself. Please. Thank you. Detective go find out about your relationship with Dara. I don't think he's sure what he's talking about. He's he's trying to play mind games with me, don't you think? No, he knows. He sure knows. And I'm sure that nitwit is behind it. Does Alison know about the affair as well? Huh. Oh. Why am I so imperceptive? Why? Yes, yes, yes. Alison knows about it. I, I, Alison knows that I... That I was having an affair. Yeah, she knows. I, and I know because I saw her diary. You know. Daniel, but what beats me is that not for once did Alison confront me about it. She, she, she never talked about it. You know? Daniel, Daniel, why am I just finding out? Where's the diary? It's it's upstairs in my in my drawer. Where's the diary? Why are you moping like that? Where is the diary? I left it here. I, I... I'm very sure I left it here. So where is it now? Oh no. Oh no. 
Natasha. Natasha, I'm... No, 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 no,
Simon, please. Just in case you change your mind and decide to call me after all this, this is my card. Please. What? Dan, what did you do to her? Hmm? To her who? Your wife. Your wife, Dan. Did you break up with me because of her mysterious disappearance? Is that why you broke up with me? Dara, is this why you called me out here this evening? Listen to me. My family affair has never in your business. Stay out of it. And this time, lose my number. Don't ever call me again. Do you hear me? Dan. Dan, is this really who you are? As much as call my phone one more time. There are... <laughs> you won't like me. Dan. Dan! Come in. I hope here wasn't too hard for you to find. Okay, so you said you had something to tell me. I think Dan killed his wife. Huh? I don't get you. Dan, Dan, slow down, down please. please. You're scaring me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm just really, really pissed off like that. Okay, what's going on with you? My wife is pregnant. Can you believe that? But how is it possible? Huh? I haven't slept with anyone in the past four months. We haven't had sex, and then suddenly she shows up two months pregnant. Oh, she's gonna be pregnant, right? She's, she's gonna be pregnant. She is pregnant, right? No, 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 that explains why. That explains why she hid the pregnancy result from me. That's so tough. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna knock the life out of that girl. But well, why the hell would she cheat on me, though? Why? But well, why would Alison cheat on me? How can I be married to her that she's sleeping out? Dan, I don't know, but just slow down, please. Dan, no. Well, look. I know that he might or could be innocent. I'm just telling you what I know, okay? So, I hope you guys find her and I hope I never ever come across you again. Speak to my client alone. Hmm. 
What were you thinking? Telling your mistress you want to kill your wife? And don't even get me started with the part where you lied to me. You looked me in the eyes, Dan, and told me you didn't know she was pregnant. Olivia, if I had told you the truth about that, then it would have also meant that I would have to tell you that the baby isn't mine. And that would make me hate her any lesser? I swear on the womb that bore us, Onyebuchi. One more lie from you and I am out. But what worries me most, Olivia, is... I never saw Dara coming. I, I, I never saw her as a snitch. I didn't see that coming. She's not. It was Natasha. What? How? N Natasha, what? I don't understand. What, what does Natasha have to do with this? She saw Dara at the BNB and um, she must have put two, two and two together and apparently figured out who she is. So. Oh, 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 hold on a second. What, you, you invited both of them to your place at, at the same time? Of course not. Natasha told me she would be coming later in the evening. How was I supposed to know that she was going to come there and meet Dara? I've had it with that busybody, all right? The next time I see her, I just might lay my hands on her and strap. Mind your language. Remember what got you here in the first place? Then I'll get out of my business. All right. Where are you going? I'm going to see Dara. And what about me? One night here won't kill you. I can't stay here for one night. What are you talking about? You will have to. If you want to get out of here like tomorrow. Olivia. Don't leave me. Don't leave me here. Look, um, I've given a thought to all that you've said, and I can't do it. Do you realize your confession could put an innocent man in prison? And what if he's guilty? So what? You haven't made empty threats when you're angry? Listen, Dara, you seem like a nice girl. If you ever cared about my brother, if you liked him a tiny, weeny little bit, you would do this to save him. You said you needed to take a bath. Go ahead now. Oh, let me, I'm exhausted, man. <laughs> oh. You haven't told me how you were able to convince that relentless detective to let me go. What made you think that I had to convince him to not detain you longer than he did? I mean, he could have just found out that you were innocent. Olivia, Olivia, did you fall on your head and suddenly forgot that I'm your twin brother and I know you. All right, I see through you. I know how mischievous you can be when you want somebody to do something. So what are you not telling me, dear sister? 
A few minutes ago, I could not stop you from blabbing about how much you needed a warm bath. Yeah, I still feel that way, but then I need this information. What did you do to that detective to let me go? What has changed? You see, now you're, you're still playing around, yeah? Go and shower! What? Am I, am I smelling? Yes! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're going to tell me things. You're going to tell me how you're able to tell that guy to let me go. What do you mean by you can't detain him? I spoke to Dara, okay? Okay? She said she did all those stuff just to get you off her back. And using her exact words, you were stalking her. What? Yes. She came to me? Yes, and you followed her car. Uh, once? It doesn't matter. She said she cooked up all those stories. She spoke to Olivia. She spoke with Olivia. You got it all figured out. Impressive. Wait. If you knew Dara lied because Olivia asked her to, how come you let Dan go? Because Olivia was meant to press charges against you for stealing Alcine's diary and other stuff. So you let a criminal go to protect another criminal. <laughs> that is hot, detective. Um, Miss Simons, I will inform her of her progress. Good night. I was feeling oranges, as you can see. Um, are you here to arrest my brother again? Because I well, will not... We to get the real name of the man your brother did business with. Oh, finally! Some good news around here. Uh, please, do come on in. Thank you. Mr. Christopher Bells. That is his real name. Okay. He's an international fraudster. Wanted by the Ukraine police force for some time now. Evidently hiding in this country for the past four years. Until you Dan gave him reason to relocate. Now we are doing everything humanly possible to get his current location. But make no mistakes. That guy is a computer guru and capable of doing anything. And Dan, you said Alison was the one who insisted you did business with Mr. Bells. Yes. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> but um, there's this, this guy that showed up, though. He said his name is Thompson. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, come with this business proposal. It was... You know, ridiculously profitable business proposal. Really? Mm-hmm. So, did you look at the files? Of course I looked at it. I mean, it looked, it looked very, very good, but... Um, so? It's... That business is not for the company. <laughs> Why? I don't know. My instincts. You know, sometimes when something is really too good to be true... Okay, well... I guess you know what's good for the company. Oh, well, when it comes to making choices, you, my antecedents precedes me. Oh. <laughs> yes, you did. How often did Alison inquire about your day at the office? Um. Alison is really not that type, you know. She she never really inquires how your day went, what happened at the office. Even even while we're dating, she she never really asked, and that's why I found it really really un, un, uncanny when she asked me that day. After that day, did she ask you again? Um, you know, two months, you know, two months ago, this Christopher or Mister Thompson, whatever he claims to be, showed up at my office with that. 
business deal and obviously I, 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 I told him that I wasn't interested. And then he showed up again three weeks ago and, you know, and then I told, I told my wife about it. You remember that big, big, big contract that my company has been vying for? Oh, the one with the federal government? Yeah, the one with the federal government, mm -hmm. exactly. An appointment came in today. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you know, they also have this um, thing they call the one month trial period. Well, that's good, isn't it? Yes, it is good, baby, but um, you know me. I want what's best. So? So, Mr. Thompson, the one that came to my office a couple of months ago, I don't know if you remember, with that ridiculously profitable business. That you wouldn't invest in? No, that I said was too good to be true. <laughs> <laughs> He showed up again with an even better offer this time around. So I'm confused. Look, baby, I know it's not rocket science. I mean, the, the deal with the federal government will be really, really huge. That's if my company will be able to pass, you know, that a one month um, trial. But of period, course but... you will. I know you. I know what you're capable of. And I know you will secure that contract if you put your mind to it. But... But what? Why don't you just invest in both? Come on now, baby. <laughs> That's a lot of money we're talking about. And, uh, the company's still young, remember? They can't... Um, it can't fund both projects at the time, so... Well, why don't you just borrow our money? It's been sitting in the account for like four months and we haven't spent a dime. Oh, well, yeah, that's true, but at least we're sure that it's there, safe. Now, who said anything was going to happen to it? All we are doing is investing it. It makes sense, but... Uh, I don't know. My instincts, you know, I just... <sighs> Your instincts, yes, I mean, they are right most of the time, but not 100%. Ah, uh, 99% most listen, of the time. Listen, listen to me. I'm listening. Are you going to do it or not? You know, I would love to listen to you, baby, but I also do not want to be... Known as the man who dips his hands in into his family funds. Okay, fine. Then borrow it. Yeah, we'll share the profit. Oh, uh, so now we're partners. <laughs> yeah. Sweetheart, I've been thinking even while you were talking and. I think I am safer sleeping in this house in peace and knowing that the government has, has my money, I'm sorry. What? So why did you ask for my advice in the first place when you already knew what you wanted to do? Ah, uh, uh, calm down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, calm down. I, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. You know, this is why I asked for your advice in the first place because I really, really want to, you know. <laughs> Feel your warmth. I tell you how, Miss Ripley. I, I have missed you. You took the deal with Mr. Bells because the one with the government didn't work. That's why you suddenly changed your mind and you couldn't tell your wife. Yes, I... I was too ashamed to... to admit that... that I failed. 
I think it's enough till for one day. It's okay. I'll just um, see you to the door. But don't you think it's quite odd that your wife went missing the same period you invested a huge sum of money into a business deal that became a sham? I don't get you. What if it was a thought out plan? The whole thing. The business transaction. Alison going missing. What if it was all her idea? Her idea? Leave her. How can you let such a crazy thought cross your mind? Why did she insist that you have that business deal? You said yourself, Dan. She's not interested in your office dealings. I am trying really hard to make sense of what you're saying, Liv, but... The thing here is 70% of the money we're talking about belongs to Alison. I mean, that's part of, you know, what she got from her grandfather. I, now, what I don't understand is why she would go that length to get what originally belongs to her. I don't think people steal from themselves, do you? To make people believe you stole from her and murdered her. That doesn't make sense. You're right, it doesn't. No. Look, Liv. Let's just, you know, stop. Stop walking your brain up so much, right? Let's let's stop this topic for now, but I believe that would we'll sort it out, okay? Olivia, I got your text. What's what's going on? Ugo, what is happening here? All right, can either of you please be kind enough to tell me what is happening? Sit down, please. Okay. I'll tell you, but you have to promise not to be mad at me. Mad at you? For what? For sticking my nose where it doesn't belong. Mr. Fordilo, your sister went to see your wife's doctor to inquire about the pregnancy she lost. It turns out she has never been pregnant. What? Alison? Alison! It's not a hospital. Don't you want to get? Don't you want to get help? Uh, Alison, don't you at least want to get well? Look at you. But I am well. You've just refused to see that. Olivia. Why? Why would you go to the doctors to investigate my wife without telling me about it, without my permission? What is wrong with you? Mr. Fortile, you just found out that your wife requested for a fake pregnancy test result. And here you are mad at your sister who by the way was trying to help out.
thanks for your help. Jeez. Can I get you a glass? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> of course you are. <clears throat> ah, so, tell me, detective, what is so important that you agreed to drive down to my house? Yes, um, same case. We have reasons to believe that Mrs. Ofodile lied about the pregnancy. Well, I don't blame you to think that way. She lost the baby before she had the chance to tell anyone. There was no baby in the first place. Mr. Hmm? Fordley actually oh, spoke with the... Olivia. <laughs> and you believe whatever bullocks she told you? <laughs> Olivia is a manipulative cunt, and you know that. She might have forced the doctor to make a false statement. Come on. <laughs> Miss Simons, perhaps we aren't listening. Miss Affordley has no reason to lie about this. Mm. <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> hmm. You like her, huh? Like who? I don't understand. I see the way your eyes are popping when you mention her name. <laughs> Miss Affordly. <laughs> Do I believe you got this all by yourself? You think I'm bruised up because I have the courage to tell you something you're not bold enough to admit to yourself today? Miss Simons, I think I should be on my way. Haba, detective, come on. Are you going to run away like most guys do in an uncomfortable situation? Oh, uh, Miss Simon. Come on, like, don't you like me? Aren't I good enough for you? Enough? Well, um, uh, you see, the... Oh, detective, please. Am I not your kind of woman? Huh? I'm very attractive enough. Stop, stop. Oh, come on. Stop you. <laughs> yeah. Now that wasn't so hard now, detective. Now was it? I'll see you some other time, Miss Simon.
What do you mean? When have I been careless? Ah! Uh -huh. Detective Go. Yeah. What are you doing here? Good morning. Mm. Morning. Sorry. I am here to ask you some questions and I hope you wouldn't mind. What? Me? Yes. Okay. Let's go to the restaurant. All right, after you. Natasha broke into my house. Did she tell you that herself? Don't play with my legal sense, Ugo. How else would you have gotten this? Of course she did, and that's why I couldn't find my keys this morning. Where were you keeping the secret surveillance on your sister-in-law? Excuse me? By the way, before the sudden disappearance of your sister-in-law, you detailed someone to be following her about. Are you accusing me of having something to do with her disappearance? You tell me. By the time I am done building a case against you, you will have no penny left to your name. Now, if you don't have any evidence to back up your claim, I suggest you get up right now and leave. Miss Afordile, I'm willing to help you. Just tell me the truth. <laughs> you are pathetic. Whoever told you you were fit for this work? Please leave. Thank you. Leave, are you okay? How do you mean? You're not eating. Yesterday you didn't take my calls all through. I didn't return my calls and now you're you're picking on your breakfast. What's the problem? I'm sorry about yesterday. The carpenter came around and that got me really busy. Apology accepted, but you're still picking on your food. I want to tell you something, but you have to promise me that you'll understand. Good day. Good day. Mr. Fordley. Yes. Agent Johnson from State CID. I have a warrant here for your arrest. Sorry, you have to come with me to the station. Leave what is going on here. Why are you requesting? You think I know what happened to Alison? What? That's nonsense. How is that even possible? Madam, please, let's go. Madam, look, officer. Officer, please. Mr. Ruby, we can sort this out with my emails. I'm sorry, Mr. If you have any observation, follow me to the station. Ma, please. Yes, like I said before, you can't see her until we are done with our investigation. I can't see my sister until you're done with your investigation. Says who? Says the law. What kind of stupid law is that? Is that it? Huh? What is that written in the Constitution? What, you think I'm stupid? Listen, please, do not push me. Do not make me have to sue this entire division. You won't like me. Need I remind you, Mr. Fordelia, that we are trying to help you to so much. Oh, really? By keeping my sister in your custody? I demand the immediate release of my client. We dare not detain your client, sir. Really? So what's Miss uh, Fadile doing inside your tiny little cell, detective? How do you detain a girl when she's trying to keep a close watch on her sister-in-law? Especially when the surveillance was ordered by her group. 
true maniac of a father. I don't quite understand, sir. But um, my father, Jogo Fadi. So, I leave both of you for a few years and your wife gets missing and you, you get arrested for a mysterious disappearance. Uh, Dad, look. I warned you about marrying that girl, but you wouldn't listen. Dad. Is this the time to apportion blames? Anyway, as typical of you. Don't let me get started on you, Miss Olivia Amaraji of Odile. I raised you to be smarter than this. Have your two years of not practicing so closed your acumen that you could not keep a common surveillance you started on your sister-in-law a secret. Olivia, what is he talking about? Were you monitoring my wife? No, I'm talking to you. Why? Why would you be keeping watch over my wife without my permission? Oh, shut up, you. How could you manage your grandfather's legacy when you wouldn't even begin to know how to manage your own home? Your wife was cheating on you and your sister was doing what you should have done. Did you know my wife was cheating on me? I wasn't sure. That's why I didn't tell you. I, I, I was looking out for, for you. You were what? You think that you almost chopped up my head the other day because I lied to you? That's a blatant lie. I did what I did because Shut I... Shut up! I did everything Shut I did because I love you! You have been nothing but pain towards that. You cheated on mom so much she walked away from us twice! You pushed us into professions you thought was best for us without even seeking our opinion. And when we got too comfortable in that profession, you fought us till you drove us to insanity. You have made us so miserable, Dad. And I hope, I really hope that you are enjoying the work of your creation. Dad of the year, bravo!
right place. Dad. This place looks like a funeral parlor. Very lifeless. Whatever that happened to your sense of humor, my mumpkin? All right, see, we go for a ride. But I look a mess, Dad. You always make a beautiful mess. That's it. Oh sure, I bought it a couple of hours ago. You know? Something to move around the town with. What? Are you staying for long? Relax, Mumchkin. I know you and your brother don't want me around. But don't worry. I'll be out of this place the moment I have this case in the can. But Daddy, don't you think you should quit calling me that? It's quite embarrassing calling me that in public, you know. Come on. It's not public. You and me. Daddy and daughter. Come on. Give me a smile. Another... Good. Are you enter? There. They make uh, the best abacha. Nkwenu, that's palm wine. Nkwabi. <laughs> and all those uh, things there. This basso rishi rishi. Dad, I wonder how long it will take you to figure out and know all the nook and cranny of this city. Beginning to go soft on me, Mountain. Huh? You used to be the tough one between you two. I boasted to my friend that you'll be the resilient, more resilient than I at your age. That, but I told you, I don't want to be a lawyer. This is what I want to do. Hmm? Sit in that dingy and decrepit old hotel. That was your grandmother's and your mother before her. And wallow in self-pity. 
She gave that place to me. <laughs> and you're gradually turning into the sad, lonely woman she was till her death. You're beginning to forget how to live this life. I should have known that this was why you brought me here. What? I should pretend not to notice that my daughter is miserable and unhappy? All I'm asking, Dad, is that for once, just once, you believe that I can take care of myself by myself. Marachi, I want what I want for you because I love you. Please, keep your voice low. We're in the public domain, okay? I am tired of being the daughter you want me to be. I am being the girl I want to be, Dad. So do enjoy your... Nkwobi, Abacha, and your Orishirishi, and your expensive lifestyle, I'm out. Detective, why did you send your man to come arrest my sister for the second time? What is the problem? We discovered no evidence against her. What evidence are we talking about here? How long has your wife been on drugs? What are you talking about? See? See? Are you even sure you know your wife at all? Exactly the same guy the detective said he, he has seen with Alison. Elijah Moses, charged in 2002 with breaking and entering. In 2006, with a hit and run, the victim survived, so he got off a light sentence. Then in 2012, convicted for illegal trafficking in drugs. He came out nine months ago and he's been lying low ever since. But he still goes about distributing drugs to rich women within the community. Dad, Dad, what are you saying? What are you saying? What's your point? Your wife was, well, is a drug addict. So is your sister.
going to get the documents together to be able to pull her out of that rat hole. Where are you going? Home. To my house. Are we done here? I am done here! I am done here! I am done with all of this madness! Oh no. My little darling girl. We're just getting started. Now sit down! Do you respect that? The only place I'm going to be sitting is on my couch. Now, don't step out of that door.
It's all right. You know, I accepted to go to a law school because I wanted to be like our dad. He was my role model. You know, you can't be like our dad. Because you're better than him. No, I'm not. I'm not even half as good. Is this why you abandoned your profession? Because you were scared that you would never be as good as our dad. Then you're stupid. Yes, you have to be stupid to entertain that line of thought in the first place. I mean, look at you. You're a fantastic human being. You're a total package. You are the best in your sight in school. Did you forget? You're smart. You're beautiful. You're focused. You're hardworking. You've got the zeal to give the best to everything that you put your hands on. You have all the qualities that dad lacks, yet you think he is better. No, I don't think so. He knows you're way better than he is. And that's why he's scared of you. You may not think so, but I know so because I have seen it. Dad doesn't, he doesn't strike me as someone who ever gets scared or weak. That's what you've chosen to believe, but that's not the reality of things. You're stronger than you think. You're, you're greater than you think. You, you were created for more. More than this place. You know, Liv, when you called me to say that you're coming back to the city to set up a BMB, &B, bed and breakfast. I mean, look at this place. It's it's, it's practically dead. I wasn't exactly happy about that decision. But then I didn't say anything, you know why? Because truth be told, you, you're more of a productive thinker of, of the both of us. So at that point I thought that you, you know, you had it all figured out, but see what we're dealing with. Why? Because you never believed in yourself. But I tell you today, darling, this life you're living is not the life that you were born to live. This is not a destiny that was carved out for you. You were created for more leave. You know why? Because you're a total package. I don't belong here. I know. I can't, I can't even do anything right here. Gosh, I can't even take cocaine right. <laughs> of course you can't take cocaine right, because if you could right now, we'll probably be driving around town looking for a rehabilitation center. <laughs> right. It's okay. It's okay. Smile always, my dear, if you can. All right, this will pass. Okay. You'll be fine.
what is going on here right in time sit Daniel yes that meet your mother in law Mrs Adekunle Dad, come on now, is this one of your plots to come between my wife and I again? Alison is my daughter. Oh no. Oh, listen, her real name is Alison, right? No, Father, please allow me. All right, I have just found out that everything that Alison told me about herself arise. All right, Alison told me categorically that the only living family member that she has alive are her grandparents. Who, by the way, wants nothing to do with her. Now I have to deal with this. Adams is my father's name. Alison picked up that name when she was 18. I kept my husband's name. Mrs. Adekunle. Please, Isabella, if you wouldn't mind. All right, Isabella. What is the possibility that your daughter got married and you weren't informed? It's been almost two years we saw each other. She relocated immediately after returning from a psychiatric home. I'm sorry. A what? Alison suffered from bipolar disorder as a child. We tried different medications on her. When she turned 21, she attempted to take her life. And she nearly succeeded. So we had to commit her for a long time. After so many treatments and medications, she got better. At least that's what we thought until I got a call yesterday that she is married and missing. Are you all that time? She never mentioned me. Like, in all that time, she never mentioned my marriage with her to you. Mrs. Adekunle, um, sorry, Miss Abella. When was the last time she called you? About three or four nights ago. I see. Can you tell us, uh, tell us exactly what she told you? We had our normal conversation. I told her to find a man, and uh, she told me she is never getting married. Because I was just, you know, I was just a pawn. Right? I was just a pawn in this, in this game she's playing. Right? That's what it is. Like, I, that's so. Uh, it's sad. Are you telling us here that your daughter has some kind of resentment to men? It is more than that. For she nearly bits off a boy's finger. For asking her out in school, she was an SS student. We stopped her from schooling after the incident and my father hired a private tutor for her to be homeschooled. Is 
Isabella. I'm going to get a pen for you. You will write down the exact number with which she called you. We need to put a track on her. We need to track her location exactly now. Please. Child. I don't want her to be locked up. Promise me that you will handle her like the mentally challenged that she is. I saw on her body at the hospital. She did that to herself. stains all over her body. When I asked, she told me she had been in a fight with a friend. And, and had all that on her, but I didn't, I didn't believe it. So I, I told her, let's go to the hospital so you can help her. Uh, how was let loose? and does not like the hospital. No, she does. And then the second time it happened, it was right here. You know, right, right here. I had come, come in from the office and then she was here. She was dripping. She was dripping of blood. Her face, her neck, her thighs, her arms, everywhere. It was an ugly sight. It was terrible. But this time around, she had, she had, she had a scissors, you know, that she was holding firmly. But I, I managed, I managed to get it off her. And then I consoled her that much, that I could. Oh my God, that girl is a real psycho. I don't know why she doesn't let me in. She doesn't let me through. She just shuts me out. No matter how hard I try to get through, Alison just shuts me out. And every time I suggest that we get medical help, she just... She blanks me out totally. She, she wouldn't talk to me for weeks. So you stopped eating her food because you thought that would compel her to, to get some sort of help? Oh well. I guess that was the plan, but... Apparently, Alison doesn't even love me enough to care. She couldn't be bothered. No. But I have been sitting down here for the past couple of hours. Just like I have been thinking for the past 24 hours, wondering 
why did she get into this marriage with me in the first place, Neve? Do you have the slightest idea? Why is she doing this to me? No, what is this about? Because this is certainly not about money. No, or, or is it? About money? No, I don't think so. I mean, her grandfather is worth two-third of my company's worth, and then the man has been benevolent enough to will almost everything to her. So this has nothing to do with money, if you ask me. But why has she decided to? I really wish I had the answers to your questions, but I don't. All I can say is that people fall in love with the right people for the wrong reasons. And, and given a different circumstance, it doesn't mean that it's not right to love them. Thank you. Like you have a choice. <laughs> I'm leaving. No, you're not. Leave. Stop it. For how long? For how long do you think you'll keep running away from dad? If I know our dad very well, he's probably getting ready to leave in the morning. Or getting ready to fry your ass and then leave when he can. Okay? I'm not just make sure you come around for breakfast tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Bye, cheer up, okay? See ya. Good morning. Good morning. How was the night? Something. Yes, I'm making a plate for everybody. Ah, how thoughtful of you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. So I guess I'll just you know, go over to the dining and wait to be served. No problem. Um, please, once again, you, you have to forgive my being uncomfortable, a bit uncomfortable with you around. I, this is new to me. You know, um, Alison told me that her parents passed. You know, I'm sorry I'm saying this, but it's okay. That's the information that, that, that I got that you and your husband died. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is all new to me. You don't have to blame Alison for telling you that. You see? Ali was raped by her father at the age of 13. What? What? You heard me. Oh no. It continued through her 14th birthday. She had no one to talk to. In between my battle with alcohol and regular fights with my husband. Alison was the one taking care of us. I came home that day drunk as usual. Alison just turned 14. I bought pork for her. He used to be her favorite. I entered her room and saw my husband on top of her. So I rushed to the kitchen and uh, picked a 
knife, buried it deep into his stomach. Before I could have the will to think or stop myself, I stabbed my husband to death in front of my baby. Are you going somewhere, Dad? Take the next flight out of this state. Away from its lazy inhabitants. We found Alison. She was overdoped with painkillers. So the detective in charge of the case took her to the hospital. She will be discharged later in the day. Okay. They also found the man that scammed you. But he's not important for now. We we'll just have to hand him over to his country's police. all the money. So what are we going to do that? What, what next? What do we do next? What, what happens next? I wish I knew. But I'm tired of telling you and your sister what to do. Both of you are old enough to make choices for yourselves. Your mother said you did not take her calls. Son, your mother and I may be separated, but that doesn't mean that we don't tell each other things, especially things that concern our children. him hurt me anymore. He can't continue to have a hold on me. He's dead and gone. He's gone. Pa Adam is always more than happy to have you around, baby. Not after everything I did to him. He doesn't deserve anything I did. I thought I was capable of living with a man. But I'm not. You love him too?
Where are you going? I'll be back, baby. Just give me a few minutes. You planted. The pregnancy result. Knowing that I would. That I would see it. Why did you do it? I don't know. I don't know why I do half of the things I do. I don't know. I don't even know why I married you. I was so scared the day of our wedding, but you were too excited to see it. And I was too scared to tell you. Why? Was I doing anything to scare you? No, it's not you. It's me. I'm too messed up. You are my mess, Alison. And you will get help. I have been making calls. Yes. We found someone. She's mom's friend and she lives in London. She's a specialist with cases like this. And my mom has also agreed that you stay in her house for the five months of psychotherapy. And you will get help. All I'm saying is that you just open up and let's come in and help you and let the two families help you. Okay? You mean... You mean... You're not... No, I'm not going anywhere, honey. Now listen. This. I'm right here. I'm your man. And I love you. I gave you my word. The day I proposed to you, I told you that this would be for better for worse. I told you that I will be with you every step of the way. All I want you to do is... Is to open up so that the two families can come in and help you. No. No. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve you. What if, what if you wake up tomorrow and you realize that was your biggest mistake? your biggest mistake. Dan, Dan, this isn't right. This is right, Alison. You and I are right. This marriage is right. All right? This is right. <laughs> Stop judging yourself, baby. And get yourself together so we can go, go home. 
Everyone is waiting. Let's go. Everyone. Everyone. Wait, who's everyone? Yeah, everyone. Olivia, Natasha. Uh, no, 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 Natasha, no, 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 no. I can't see her. No, no, no. Neither can you hide from her. For how long do you intend to hide? I know you hurt her. She's mad at you. But she'll forgive you. Yes, she will. She's your best friend. But I used her. How do I face them? How? I cheated on you, Alison. Continuously. Oh, I found her very attractive. I was carried away and we started off. I know. I know you know. Yes. I know you know. Because I saw your diary. Did you? Not mention it. Not even for one day. At first, I was happy for you. <laughs> you having found love and all. But then she started to take you away from me, and I was jealous. I just wanted to take my money and go. Why then did you go ahead to frame me for fake murder? Sorry. I know you're sorry. I believe you're sorry. But above all, Alison. I'm happy. I'm happy. To be here with you. I am happy. That we're talking. I am happy. That we're sharing things. No more surprises. No more surprises. No more secrets. No more secrets. I have missed you. So terribly. Hey. Are you ready? 